If you are a trader of the Indian stock market, you're probably wondering right now, what is in scope for it? Like, where is the stock market heading now that it's been so ranged around over the last few days? So let's analyze this technically and see what is in store in the coming weeks or the coming months and how is the market going to react based on news if the market goes up or the market goes down. So let's get started. So in order to get started, I would like to first put your attention towards the monthly charts. Now, if you look at the monthly charts for Nifty, and this is the Nifty uh, 50 futures that I have in front of me, the market for the Nifty 50 futures hasn't really declined to such an extent as the other indexes across the other across the world has. It's been uh, it has had a, a significant drawback, but it's not gone down to uh, like the lows as we've seen to, in the other markets. So what does that mean to the general public is that uh, the Indian stock market, even though it's like not the best or the strongest, it's still not the weakest too. There, there is upward momentum in store. So if I zoom out, you can see that this, uh, the Nifty 50 has been on an upward trend for since 2019, uh, sorry, 2010. And it's been kind of up and up and up and up since then. So if you had invested any money uh, all the way back here in time, you would have uh, you know multiplied your wealth like significantly. Now let's look at where we are right now because this is important to know where we will head in the future. So the market has now peaked and this is where it, it went into uh, an inflated position where the market would never you know go all the way up without actually like correcting itself and that's what it's doing right now it did correct itself and touch the 20 period moving average line as you can see it just touched it uh, for um, on an intra week basis but since then it's rebounded and hold its ground over here so now what does it mean like where could the market head from here and this is just a monthly time frame I am going to dive into the lower time frames so uh, on a on a monthly time frame if if the world indexes or the uh, the world markets decides that okay this is actually you know enough of a downward spiral like the Russian economy or the war that's happening there is no longer significant the inflation that we are going through is no longer significant the market may see some more upside but I just want you to all be cautious that since it just touched this, you know, the yellow period, uh, which is the 20 period moving average line. And the reason why I'm saying that this yellow uh, 20 period moving line is so significant is that you can see historically how many times that the market touched it. It touched your and bounced back. It touched your it bounced back, touched your uh, touched your bounce back. Now, it did not actually close at the end of this line. So that's that's good news. So that means that the market may just touch it and then bounce back. Um, but there are times where touching it and closing close to the 20p moving average would be significant. So for example, this is 2010 and it touched it. It closed for the end of the month and then bounced back. It again touched it again and then it kind of rebounded for some time and then moved back. Another example, this is where the uh, February 6, 20, uh, 2016, it touched the line, closed below the 50. The, the purple line you see here is the 50 period moving average line. It closed below it and then bounced back. So again, your it touched the line, closed for the month on top of the 20 period moving average line and then bounced back. So uh, another example here, it touched it, closed below and then bounced back. So, uh, this particular instance where you know the whole world was in a panic is uh, an abnormally in the trends of the market so if based on what i've showed you so far can you tell me what's going to happen here well there is a possibility that the market may touch this line and then bounce back or it may close for the month close to this line so there could be a possible lower downtrend uh, in store so just keep that at the back of your mind that could happen but if the entire world like you know goes positive or if the russian war, war ends that could see an uh, an upward trend to the market so just something to keep in mind so if you're a long-term tra trader maybe just wait maybe just wait let the market 
you know decide on where is it going it does seem that it may head a little lower but that's just from a long-term perspective so let's look at the weekly and see if it gives us any insights into where the market's heading so the weekly is at a very crucial part right now so the market's gone down it's been kind of like choppy bounced up bounced down and to be honest it's not done as badly as the other markets have so like you know the the Indian stock market's still doing significantly well now you could consider this drop with this drop as uh, uh, like basically a dual bottom a double bottom and that could mean that okay there is positive momentum in store for it but what you also got to keep in mind is this purple 50 period moving average line so the markets actually touched the 50 period moving average line and it's starting to trend lower and what that means is is that the market could possibly touch again the 15 uh 15782 so just around this mark here is where the market could possibly t uh, trend lower so if that happens the market could end close to the yellow p uh, uh yellow 20 period moving average line so that's something to keep in mind like you know be cautious the market may trend lower unless the world pushes it on top and the way you would know if the world's pushing in the top is that if it breaks this 20 period moving average line there is more positive momentum in store for it now if you are uh you know maybe a day trader not a not a day trader but uh you trade the daily charts maybe a couple days is or maybe a week time frame that's where you would look at the daily time frame and maybe you'll take your buy and sell signals on the weekly time frame so what's what's happening over here now if you can see the daily time frame uh it's clearly a sign where the markets actually touched the 200 period moving average and it's taken a turn to the uh, to the lower so it's kind of between this range now if it breaks this range and heads lower so say tomorrow if the market opens lower it can head, head uh, significantly lower to uh, a new like you know maybe it may touch the bottom and then bounce back uh, so just keep in mind, like this is a range. This is a, a very important range that it is in right now. It should not break this and go lower. If it does, it, it's uh, more of a bear trend that's going to happen in the market uh, versus a, a bull market. So if the market actually shows you a positive turn where it would then turn higher and cross or break the 200 period moving average line, that's a hi line highlighted by blue then there's positive momentum in store for it. So it did do it in the past too, where it broke up and went upwards and then made a new high, went down and then like it kind of like bounced a couple times and broke it and went down. So that's where we are right now. It's a very touchy time. I would recommend either stay on the sidelines or if the market breaks below, if you are a short seller, you could probably get shot into the market and maybe capture the gains all the way down to the 1578, uh, 15,780 level. So if you're a shorter term trader, I just want to show you the four hour time frame. Now I'm not going any lower than this. So this is for people that are trading between, uh, you know, on an intraday or, and that extend their trading to maybe a couple days or maybe, um, you know, maybe uh, two, three days is their time frame. Uh, so for those kind of traders, uh, you can see that the market's like, you know, bottom out here, it's kind of bounced out and it's between these lines over here. So uh, on a four hour time frame, it's actually just left the left the shuttle and it's going lower. But don't don't kind of like be too scared or anxious that it's like broken down the 50 feet moving average line because the daily is where everything. This is where the big bucks are made. Uh, a lot of the long term traders, fluent traders trade the daily. Uh, the bigger institutional traders trade the the weekly. So this is also a very important um, milestone to keep in mind. Now, the monthly is where you have the long-term investors, like you know the, the people that actually just buy and hold for a few years. Um, and they do have a lot of wealth on their side as well. So if they buy it, but they will never buy in no man's land, they'll always buy here. So that's why, that's why I'm kind of being cautious to my audience here and saying, if you're buying buy a little bit closer so if you had a buy bought you know in the previous low 
you would have been a good profitable trader because you would have just made some like you know it bounced up bounced up uh, but it may touch it again so just be cautious where it's heading right now so i hope that is useful i've given you like different perspectives from like a long-term trader a short-term trader uh, you know, so based on what I see today, uh, uh, my educational guess is that the market has potential to move down a little. But if there is positive news from the world, like, you know, like any positive news that comes out, the market may be pushed higher and may break the 200p moving average line. If it breaks and there is positive momentum, uh, you could take some short term positions there. But otherwise, I would say. Uh, just sit on the sidelines, let the market tell you when is the right time to come in or what's the right time to just hold your horses and stay put. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and do stay tuned for another video and I hope you like the content and write, do write comments of, you know, what do you like if you like me to uh, have analyzed any particular stock that you have in your portfolio, I'd be happy to do so as well. So with that, thank you and I'll see you soon.